the global supply chain crisis has entered an ominous new chapter. Massive disruptions, congestion, capacity shortages, and skyrocketing shipping and freight rates have challenged shippers, ports, carriers, and logistics providers in the past couple of years. The price to ship a 40-foot container from Asia to the U.S. West Coast shot up by a shocking 400% last year. But soaring prices do not mean that supply chain reliability and resilience have improved. In fact, across both coasts, U.S. ports continue to struggle with bottlenecks and delivery delays, while shippers scramble with a shortage of containers and rising operational costs. That's to say, the supply chain crunch of 2020 and 2021 was just a small demonstration of the crisis we're facing this year and will continue to face in the years ahead. Executives, business owners, and experts do not expect a light at the end of the tunnel any time soon. Thus, in today's video, we've brought together a compilation of facts that indicate just how much worse conditions are going to get in the months ahead. But before checking this list, please give us your support and leave us a thumbs up and subscribe not to miss our future list. Without further ado, here are 20 very surprising facts about the messed up state of global supply chains. 1. A recent survey conducted by the Institute for Supply Management (ISM) revealed that 93% of businesses are currently facing record-long lead times, wide-scale shortages of critical basic materials, rising commodities prices, and difficulties in transporting products across industries. 2. Shipping prices continue to hit sky highs. The spot rate for a 40-foot container to the U.S. from Asia topped $20,000 last year, including surcharges and premiums. That's a massive surge from less than $2,000 a few years ago. In recent months, prices went down a little, but they're still hovering near a staggering $14,000. 3. Since 2020, shipping prices jumped by a whopping 240% with an impressive 400% spike during last year's holiday season. Even after ticking back down, June's shipping rates remained 80% higher compared to the same period in 2021. That's quite alarming, considering that even a 10% increase in shipping rates can reduce industrial production by around 1%. Four. Moreover, as the Kansas City Fed economist Nicholas Sly explained in the new study, a 15% increase in shipping costs leads to a 0.10 percentage point increase in core inflation after one year. Shipping rates, he said, currently are a persistent rather than a temporary or transitory challenge. Those types of shocks tend to have lasting effects 12 to 18 months out, Sly noted. 5. Furthermore, a report commissioned by DP World, produced in partnership with Economist Impact, noted that supply shortages will keep increasing inflationary pressure despite the recent rise in interest rates. At this point, about a third of companies expect increasing transport costs to limit export-led growth, contributing to higher inflation. About the same rate, or 31%, of companies that export are concerned about the risk of rising inflation due to supply chain disruption, the report found. DP World Group Chairman and CEO Sultan Ahmed bid Suliam said that the report is evidence that rising freight rates and low production levels coupled with a volatile social economic situation in the U.S. and Europe, will keep inflation high in 2022 as companies navigate a risky trading environment. 6. Drury data shows that congestion is affecting the vast majority of ports around the world. Right now, 77% of the world's ports are experiencing abnormally long turnaround times, the company reported. 7. Over the past couple of years, containers were left in the wrong locations as trade shifted 
shipping capacity was reduced and vessels couldn't land where and when they intended. Coupled with congested ports and problems with timely unloading and onward transportation, a typical container now spends 20% longer in transit than before the pandemic. 8. The CEO of Sea Intelligence, Alan Murphy, is warning about a record backlog of container ships during this year's peak shipping season. During a press release, Murphy revealed that there will be a 60% increase in the number of vessels on the Asia to North America East Coast trade lane in the coming months, which means that both coasts will be dealing with a record flow of imports at the same time, heightening the risk for disruptions. 9. Experts at the TPM22 and TPM Tech Conference warned that shippers should expect no relief for the rest of 2022, as many structural issues in ocean transportation have yet to be solved. We don't see the tide turn in 2022, said Torsten Meink, a board member for the Ocean and Air Freight at DB Schenker. Meinke said infrastructure problems, labor constraints, high demand, and reduced capacity will continue to trouble the market in the foreseeable future. 10. A Maersk report uncovered that in the third quarter of 2022, 40 feet containers will be in short supply. As demand remains strong and there's a large backlog of orders, Maersk expects that the export market will continue to be saturated. The shortage of containers is adding immense pressure to the system at a time when supply chains are recording an enormous surge in the volume of export goods. 11. In a recent expose, German economist Monika Schnitzer revealed that shipping times from China to the United States have increased from an average of 30 to 45 days to a record of 85 to 100 days due to this year's lockdowns, freight transportation issues, and railroad problems, and that figure could increase again during the winter due to extreme weather. 12. Last year, the waiting time for container vessels to discharge or pick up cargoes at the port of Long Beach near Los Angeles was between 9 to 15 days. Now it takes 38 days and 45 days, and these numbers are expected to go up as constraints worsen. 13. A Freydos analysis exposed that across all major supply chains, trucking capacity is down by an estimated 45%. That's why it's increasingly difficult to get imported materials from the ports to the factories, or available shipments from factories to ports. 14. According to Alan Murphy from the research and analysis firm Sea Intelligence, all the available data shows that congestion and bottleneck problems are worsening getting into the back half of the year, and there's no indication of improvements as of yet. The situation is getting really tired at Long Beach and Los Angeles Port to the point that several ships have changed their courses and have docked at the ports on the East Coast. 15. That shift from west to east coast ports is creating some serious imbalances. Right now, tree nuts, produce, dairy products in California are struggling to find container capacity, according to the California Farm Bureau Federation. Many carriers are no longer stopping at the port of Oakland, instead opting to send empty vessels directly from the ports of Los Angeles and Long Beach to take advantage of high rates from Asia to the U.S. West Coast. That has led U.S. farmers to call on the government to enact measures to quell the practice of ships departing U.S. ports with empty containers. 16. A May World Bank report measured the total time a ship spent at port across 370 locations worldwide in 2021, including the time ships spent waiting offshore for a free berth. According to the ranking, the West Coast ports of Los Angeles and Long Beach are the world's least efficient, and that's in the entire world. Those two ports also handle 42% of all container trade from Asia. 17. At this moment, 
the ports of Los Angeles and Long Beach are still in the middle of negotiating new contracts for 22,000 dock workers. However, protracted negotiations and disagreements are adding to delays as workers engage in actions like work slowdowns and stoppages to strengthen their negotiating position. 18. Meanwhile, on the other side of the ocean, total dry bulk congestion levels at ports in mainland China have increased between 30 to 40 percent since March, data from the S&P Global Commodities at Sea shows. 19. An ongoing shortage of equipment and space will continue to push shipping prices up through the rest of the year. Low schedule reliability levels are forcing shippers to pay premiums for securing the space their goods require, resulting in partially functioning supply chains. Those imbalances, however, generated record profits for shipping companies. This year alone, the shipping industry is expected to bring in $200 billion in profits as rates continue to soar. 20. At grocery stores, empty shelves can be seen everywhere. A reflection of the fact that our global supply chain has become far too linear and vulnerable to the unexpected. An SAP News Center survey found that by now, 67% of U.S. consumers said they think product shortages are the new normal. A whopping 74% of respondents said they believe shortages will intensify in the coming months. Their top concern was the supply of food, which was mentioned by 77% of those surveyed. With all that said, Americans should brace for an era of constant price increases and persistent shortages. As problems compound, inflationary pressures will get worse and worse, and this year's peak shipping season is on track to be the most chaotic on record. Of course, many other things can still go wrong in the short term, which will only result in more disruptions, delays, and imbalances between supply and demand. Once broken, it might take years before supply chains are restored once again. Until then, the nightmare will continue for businesses, logistics companies, workers, and of course, millions of consumers out there.